Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the topic syntax analysis in compiler design. Syntax analysis or otherwise called as parsing is the second phase of the compiler. The first phase is lexical analyzer. It is used to identify the tokens with regular expressions and pattern rules. But the lexical analyzer cannot check the syntax of the given sentence due to the limitations in the regular expressions. The limitation is that it cannot check the balancing tokens like parenthesis. Therefore, syntax analysis uses context-free grammar to define the syntax of the programming language. This context-free grammar is a formal language which is used to describe the syntax of the programming languages. Now, let us see about context-free grammar. It is defined as four tuples G is equal to VTPS. Here, G is the grammar which consists of set of production rules. It is used to generate the strings of a language. V is the set of non-terminals. It is denoted by capital letters. T is the set of terminals. It is denoted by lowercase letters. P is the set of production rules which is used for replacing the non-terminals on the left side of the production in a string with terminals on the right side of the production. And S is the start symbol which is used to derive the given string. Therefore, a grammar is said to be a context-free grammar if every production is in the given form. G tends to V union T closure where G belongs to V. Here, V is the variable and T is the terminal. Always, the left-hand side of the grammar can only be a variable. It cannot be a terminal. But the right side can be a variable or terminal or both combination of variable and terminals as represented here. So, it can be V union T closure that is it can be a variable or terminal or combination of both. So, this is the formal definition of context free grammar. Now, let us see how to derive the string by using the production rules in context free grammar. Consider this question construct CFG for the language having any number of A's over the set A. So, we can represent this in the form of regular expression like this. Any number of A's means 0 or more, more A's. So, we are representing it as A closure. The same can be expressed in terms of productions like this. That is S tends to AS and S tends to Epsilon. Now, let us see how these two productions can be applied to derive the A's, any number of A's. So, consider the string here. We are considering three A's. So, how to derive these three A's by using these two productions? We will see now. So, this is the derivation. Always we have to start with the start symbol. So, here S is the start symbol. Whichever symbol lies first in the left side of the production is called a start symbol. So, that is taken here and we have to apply these two production rules. So, first production is S tends to AS. That means we can substitute AS in terms of S. So, we can replace the left hand side with the right side of the production. So, S is replaced with AS here. And again, this S is replaced with AS and this S is replaced with AS. All this follows the rule number 1. Now, we have 3 A's according to the given string. Apart from this, we have the variable S. So, we should remove this S. So, to remove this S, we can apply the rule number 2. That is S tends to epsilon. So, if, uh, if we apply this rule, it will nullify this S and we will have only 3 A's. So, thus we have derived the given string by using these two production rules. Now, formally we can represent it as four tuples like this. So, here V is the variable which is nothing but S here, only one capital letter. T is terminal which always lies in the right side. So, here lowercase letter is A and P is the set of productions. We have two productions as mentioned here and S is the start symbol. Always the first symbol is the start symbol. So, that is taken here. So, thus we have seen about what is context-free grammar and how to derive the string by using the production rules. Now, to summarize, we will see about the syntax analysis. Syntax analyzer or the parser takes the input from the lexical analyzer in the form of tokens. The parser analyzes these tokens against the production rules and detects the errors in the code. The output of this phase will be the parse tree. This diagram illustrates the concept of syntax analysis. So, source program is given to lexical analyzer which generates the tokens based on the request from the parser. These tokens are generated based on the regular expressions 
and these tokens are given to the parser. Parser will generate the parse tree based on the context-free grammar and production rules. So this symbol table is used to record the information about the tokens. So we have thus discussed about syntax analysis and context-free grammar. In our next lecture, we'll see in detail about the derivation and its type and also how to draw the parse tree. Thank you.